A new generation is learning to appreciate the drive-in, but this is not your parents' drive-in. As NBC 11's Bob Riddell reports, it's the drive-in that drives in. Just when you thought they pulled the plug on one of America's favorite pastimes, someone's plugging it back in and transforming it for a brief road trip back in time. It's the all-American drive-in experience, right? And it's being revived. If you were to go back to the 50s, drive-ins were in their heyday. There were over 3,700 screens nationwide. But over the years, they kind of flamed out and have dwindled to just barely 400. Of all people, Brian Kennedy shouldn't care. I've never been to a drive-in. But he does. That's why this 20-something is trying to bridge the generational gap with his own version of the drive-in, all from his car, using just a projector, laptop, FM transmitter, and this old warehouse wall that he happened to find on San Francisco's Treasure Island. It's just basically an extension of my living room. The beautiful night sky is the ceiling, and the furniture, it just kind of pulls up whenever. What, what brings you out here in the middle of the night? Are you kidding? What doesn't? I'm actually of a generation that actually appreciated going to the drive-ins. I don't like going to movie theaters. Why? Popcorn's only 10 bucks. It's too loud. <laughs> it's a unique experience. This is probably the closest we'll ever get to a drive-in. Who are these people? Oh, these strangers. You don't know uh, I don't know any of them. They come together via an underground whispering campaign that relies on email and word of mouth on when and where Brian's driving will drive in next. We told all of our friends. You know, all of our friends told us. I told all my coworkers. That's the reason why I've kept that spontaneity is just to keep that allure of just showing up and experiencing something like this. I got to use this projector anyway, right? And perhaps project something else as well. The smile on people's faces when they come out. That's really why I do this. Bob Riddell, NBC 11 News. And you don't have to pay three bucks for a box of candy, too. The man who puts on that show actually pays the $200 licensing fee for each of the movie he shows out of his own pocket. If you want to know where the next showing is, just visit NBC11.com and look under Featured Lakes. Hmm, pretty good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a nice day today, but if you were going to a drive-in tonight, you're going to need that heater, huh, John? Run the heater, that's right.